So for this binomial theorem and using this formula, then to solve for this problem, so find the fifth term from the expansion of this binomial. So since the exponent is 9, so therefore there are 10 terms from the expansion of this binomial. Then to find the fifth term using this formula. But first, we need to find the values from this formula. So this is the first term, the second term. And the exponent is n, so the first term is equal to 2x, the second term is equal to positive 3, then n is equal to 9, and for r, so since we're looking for the fifth term and r starts from 0, so to find r, this is 5 minus 1, so always minus 1 for r, because r starts from 0, so therefore r is equal to 4. So from these values, we can find now the fifth term, so we have n choose r, so n is 9 choose r, r is 4, then times the first term, so the first term is 2x, then to the power n minus r, so n is 9 minus r, r is 4, then times the second term, so the second term is positive 3, to the power r, r is 4. Then to simplify, so this 9 choose 4, so we have 9, then shift this NCR, so 9 choose 4 equals, that's 126, so this is 126, then times 2x to the power 9 minus 4 to the power 5, then times this 3 to the power 4, so we have 3 to the power 4, that's 81, so positive 81, then to simplify, so this is 126 times this 2x to the power 5, so we have 2 to the power 5, that's 32. So this is 32, then x to the power 5, then times 81, then multiply these three numbers. So 126 times 32 times 81, so we have 126 times 32 times 81. So that's equal to 326,592. So 326,592. Then bring down the variable x to the power 5. So this is now the fifth term for the expansion of this binomial. Then for this even, so again, this is the first term and the second term. So the first term is equal to 4x to the power 2. And the second term is negative 2y. Then n is the exponent, that's 12. Then for r, so since we're looking for the 7 term, so r is equal to 7, and again minus 1, so r is equal to 6. Then to find now the 7 term from this formula, so n choose r, so n is 12, choose r is 6, then times the first term, 
does 4x to the power 2, then to the power n minus r, so this is 12, minus r is 6, then times the second term, that's negative 2y to the power r, r is 6, then to simplify, so this 12 choose 6, so we have 12, then choose 6, so this is 924, so 924, then times 4x to the power 2 to the power 6, so that's 12 minus 6, then times this negative 2y to the power 6. So since the base is negative, so we need to put inside the parentheses, that's negative 2, then to the power 6. So this is positive 64. So positive 64, then y to the power 6. Then to simplify, so we have 924 in times this 4x squared to the power 6. So we have 4 to the power 6. So that's 4096. So this is 4096. Then for this x squared to the power 6, so we need to multiply these two exponents. So we have 2 times 6. This one is 12. So x to the power 12. Then times 64. Y to the power 6. Then multiply now these three numbers. So this is 924 times 4096 times 64. So this is equal to 242,221,056. So 242,221,056. Then bring down these variables. So x to the power 12 and y to the power 6. So this is now the seventh term from the expansion of this binomial. Then for this given to find the fourth term. So this is the first term and the second term. So the first term is 3y to the power 3. The second term is negative 4y to the power 2. Then n equals 10. And for r, since fourth term, so r equals 4 minus 1. So r is equal to 3. Then apply now the formula. So n choose r, so this is 10, choose 3, then times, so 3y to the power 3 for the first term, then n minus r, or 10, minus 3, then times the second term, so negative 4y to the power 2 to the power r is 3, then to simplify, so this 10 choose 3, so we have 10, then choose 3, so that's 120, so this is 120, then times 3y to the power 3, quantity to the power 7, then times this negative 4, y squared to the power 3. So again, since the base is negative, so put inside the parentheses, so negative 4 to the power 3. So that's negative 64. So this is negative 64, then y. So multiply these two numbers, 2 times 3, this is 6. Then to simplify, so 120 then times 
this 3y to the power 3 to the power 7. So we have 3 to the power 7. That's 2,187. So this is 2,187. Then y multiply these two numbers. So to the power 21. Then times negative 64. Y to the power 6. Then this time multiply these three numbers. So we have 120 times 2,187. Then times negative 64. So that's equal to negative. 16,796,160 So we have negative 16,796,160 Then for the variable So since the same variable So you add these two exponents So this is y to the power 27. So this is now the fourth term for the expansion of this binomial.